Hey everyone, welcome back. So next step is going to be our first installation of our first piece of the puzzle, which is going to be the M of the mean stack, the Mongo database. So I've gone into mongodb.org. If uh, you can't find this address, just Google MongoDB. There are two sites, uh, one.com and one.org. It's the .org one we want to go into. And the very first page you meet, you can download MongoDB. So I'll press this link and I'll be sent to the page. And depending on your operating system, you can then find the downloaded file here. And um, I just downloaded this guy. He's, he's in here. And there's actually a small installation instruction down here if you want to read that. So I'll just click it. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. Um, but there's a lot of information in here. But um, let's just follow it step by step. So step one is pretty much just install it. So I'll double click the installation file I downloaded and it'll prepare to install. I'll say next, I'll agree on the license. You can read it if you have the time for it. I'll do a complete installation and I'll just press install. That's pretty much all I have to do. And now it'll start installing my Mongo database. I'll of course accept that it can allow to install it on my machine. By the way, while this installs, I'm using Windows here. Now, normally I'm actually working on a Mac, but most of the students I'm working with are actually using Windows, so that's why I'm showing you this on a Windows environment. The Mac installation is just as simple, so use whatever you feel like to get going. Okay, step two. I'll open a command prompt, and there's a lot of ways to do that. Let me just show you the, the search bar down here. I can write CMD. And here's the command prompt. Now this is one way to get in here and I can find my Mongo database. Let me show you another way to get there. Um, I'll just open a file explorer and I'll find my Mongo database. Now I might as well tell you that we're going to use the terminal a lot or a command prompt at least. So you won't avoid getting into that. But I'll find my Mongo database in here and I'll say I'll go all the way into the bin folder here. So program files, that's the default folder where it installs MongoDB server 3.2 in my case because that's the version and then I'm all the way into the bin folder. Now I, I'm clicking out here. So it selects the entire line and then I write CMD from here. Press enter and then I'm right at that folder. So that's an easy way to get in there. Let me just show you if that wasn't the way I did it. Let me just show you how to get into the command prompt. I went a little faster, so let me just do it again. I press the search bar, write CMD, go into my command prompt, it's up here, and then I just kind of jump to the, whoa, jump to the area that I want to go to. So let me just jump to the root here. I just go back one folder by writing CD dot dot. Right? I don't even need the space. I can do it like this. Okay, that's how I that's how I get a folder, one folder back. Now I need to go into program files. So I'll say CD program and I'll tap. So I, when doing the tap, it'll figure out okay, there's a folder here called program files. And I'll now write CD MongoDB and now I'm at the Mongo database. And then I'll do CD server, etc. etc. CD tree two. I can actually even do uh, bin. Oops, that was wrong. I need to do a backward slash, which I can't find right now because I'm on a Mac keyboard. Uh, never mind. We'll do it the tough way. And then I'll do CD bin. There we go. And then I can actually from here do something called MongoD to run the Mongo database. That's actually a command. Let me show you that command. Just shut down one of these guys. Pull out the commands here, this one an executable here, an application here called MongoD. And that's actually the one we use to start the Mongo database. So let's try and run this and hopefully I will I'll actually fail. Now what is that? Well, if you read actually, read the line here, it'll actually explain to you what's wrong. So I'll just expand this a bit. And as I read through this, down here it says, it's trying to create some kind of data directory, but it can't find this data directory down here. So we need to create it. So let's just make that directory. I'll go back into my file explorer just to make it easy. Go to the C drive, right click and make a new folder. Now this folder will be called um, data. Why? Well, if I go back so you can see it, it says you need a folder on the C called data called DB. Now this is default settings. We could change these. We're not going to, but you could actually change where you want to put your data file. Make one called DB. And now I have the folder that it asks for, C, D, 
data db just like it says here c data db so let's try and do mongodb again and let's see what happens it asks do you want to actually allow me to use the network and i'll say yes do that and now something is running okay so how do we know that the mongo database is actually running well we're going to start another command prompt and uh, let me just show you this way again I'm going to cd i'll go into um, program files mongodb server tree to bin and I'll select the area up here again, I'll write CMD and bang, I'm in there. Instead of writing MongoD, I'll write Mongo. And again, let's, I'm just showing you, it's actually this exe file right here we're going to run. Writing Mongo actually allows us to now start using the Mongo database. So this is like a console for me to write commands to my Mongo database. And what can I do? Well, the first command I can show you, just to show you it's running, is help. Okay, so that actually shows me all the different commands I can use for the Mongo. And let me just do one of the command called show dbs, show database. And I'll press enter and right now there aren't any. And that'll be the first setup for the next lesson that's creating our first database.